You said you heard the news today about President Mearns. What was your reaction to hearing that Mearns was leaving for Ball State? Um, I was really upset about that, but I mean, I'm happy for him. If he's happy leaving and it's the best decision for him and his family, then I support him in his decision. That's sad, honestly. I mean, it's good that he's going on to bigger and better things, but he's a real nice guy. Like, every time I'd be in the SU or even in just meetings for any type of organization I'm involved in, he'd actually pop his head in, say hi to everybody, see how everybody's doing. You think about everything he's brought to NKU, and we're in a much better place now than when we were. But, you know, at the same time, you're thinking, where is NKU going to be next? You know, We're still on the rise, but who's going to be at the, the face of the university? Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I was shocked. Um, he's had a great impact on our campus. I'm just really sad to see him go. I mean, it kind of sucks. He's done a lot. Um, He's, he's really just getting our, our name out there, getting Northern Kentucky on the map. I think he's, he's really built a name for Northern Kentucky. I'm sad because I've been here five years, he's been here five years, he's the only president I've known. So um, I, it was a shock and just I'm a little sad. What would you say his legacy is or what he's going to be remembered for most as time at NKU? I think he did a really great job setting us up for success. Setting a standard for what uh, a president for the university should be, someone who's just real who tries to connect with people on a, on a real level. He has a very tactful skill of he knows what to say at the right time. And I think that's, that's one tool that you can never underestimate with, with President Burns. He's, he's really built a name for Northern Kentucky. Uh, with all the new buildings going up, I know a lot of people complain about it, but I mean, it's really going to attract more students, which means more money. I think, honestly, if you think about it in terms of growth, I mean, our new campus rec center is extraordinary and he was there for he broke ground you know it was amazing and our new health center is going to be incredible as well so. just the relationship that he's made with students I mean he always goes out of his way to make sure he shakes your hand and says hi and he talks to all the parents when they come and he just really makes it known that he's here mm -hmm. and now he's not gonna be what would you like to see in, in the next presidential candidate as someone who's really driven individual someone who supports the students and the faculty here well, obviously, I think they'd have some big shoes to fill, but um, I would love to see somebody with just drive to make this campus um, just a community. To promote more inclusiveness, to make it more comfortable for African-American students and things of that nature. Just the overall investment in student success and just in student affairs in general, uh, I think is huge to have someone at that helm um, who has that experience of working with higher education. If someone uh, is inviting as him, uh, I know that if you, you can go up to his office and on any given day he'll like have uh, I think some days he'll have cookies, some days he'll just kind of like have snacks. Someone needs to love NKU like we do, like the students do.